Hello guys, today I'm here with another topic of pharmacology that is types of drugs. Uh, there are different types of drugs. There's a prototype, prototype, uh, prototype drug, pro drug, orphan drugs, and placebo. Uh, first of all, we will discuss the prototype drug. What is prototype drug? It's actually a single drug that represents a drug class or group shows the most important characteristic of that class uh, guys uh, to learn each fact about uh, different thousands of different drugs or hundreds of different drugs that's an impractical goal and fortunately is unnecessary in our most cases so uh, uh, by uh, knowing the uh, by dividing them by classifying them in uh, specific classes or groups um, it's important to know uh, the properties the mechanism of action the side effects the contraindication the different properties of that class by just learning about the sing about the single drug that single drug that will show the all the properties each and everything of the all the drugs included in that class or group for example, uh, beta blockers, that's a group of drugs, including different uh, drugs. And propranolol is one of that drugs. So propranolol, it shows the, all the properties of, of the beta blockers of that group. Uh, then we have the aspirin, it's um, included in the NSAIDs group. So uh, by knowing the properties of the aspirin and all the mechanism of actions and uh, different things uh, we would uh, come to know about the NSAIDs class actually then we have the calcium channel blockers so it's an, um, another group of drugs and the philippine is one of them so by learning uh, about a single drug like um, uh, nephidipine the philippine would show all the important characteristic of that class similarly Chloroquine, it's an, it's an anti-malarial drug that will be showing the properties of all the anti-malarial drug, drugs. Then we have the morphine, uh, it will be showing all the properties of the opioid class. So it's for, uh, it's, uh, for our easiness so that we can learn, uh, we know about the different drugs, their characteristics easily. So they are classified into uh, different groups. So these are prototype drugs because they are showing the properties of that class or group. Number two is that we have the pro drugs. What are the pro drugs? The pro drugs are the drug that is inactive actually uh, before administration, but after administration it is metabolized into a pharmacologically active form that has some specific action in our body. Examples are the L-dopa that is converted into an its active form dopamine and alipril is converted into an alipryllate allopurinol in its active form is oxypurinol omeprazole it's a PPI and its active form is omeprazole sulfonamide minoxidil its active form is minoxidil sulfate so these are the uh, uh, drugs uh, which are actually converted first into the, it, their active forms in our body and then uh, mm, uh, they perform their actions uh, which are required. <clears throat> then we have the orphan drugs. Orphan drugs, guys, as its name indicates, these are the drugs which are used for the rare diseases and they're not synthesized much. And they can can be difficult to research upon, develop and market because of the limited number of patients. So the diseases are called as orphan diseases and the drugs are called orphan drugs for which they are prepared. Examples of the rare disorders are the Tuberich syndrome, Huntington's disease, ovarian cancer, etc. And the orphan drugs. Uh, examples are the DAP diaminopyridine, which is used in Lambert Eaton syndrome. Then another example is thalidomide, which is used in leprosy. And we have the tetrabenazine, which is used in Huntington's disease. 
so that these drugs these three drugs given in the example these are the orphan drugs actually then the fourth one is placebo placebo is actually an inert substance that is designed to have no pharmacological value no therapeutic value they have no active ingredients actually and no pharmacological effect the drug for which it is prepared it has the same identical size shape color and packing to that drug and given to the patient the patient thinks it's an original drug actually it is just to get the psychological effect so but actually it's not the uh, that original drug it's just a copy you can say or the placebo of that drug examples are the pure placebo or the impure placebo pure placebo has got no convincing pharmacological effects like example is sugar pill saline or glucose injection colored floor floor impure or active placebo has got potential to produce some pharmacological effects uh like vitamin b complex iron preparation tablets in a pack of oral contraceptive pills so the placebo that can be prepared for any drug uh it doesn't have its own name but it bears the name of the drug for which it is prepared so guys actually placebo is just to get the psychological effect so the uh, patients are given these uh, placebo drugs but they don't know that either they are actual drugs they are original drugs or they are just placebo so it has the same packing same color same size of uh, each and everything to that the parent drug so the uh, patient can't differentiate only the chemist or the seller or the manufacturer and the doctor knows about the placebo effect about that drug about the placebo thanks for watching